All right, so this first part, the warm-up just talks about what it means to be included. We've talked about it a little bit. This hopefully will just make it sink in a little bit more. It says, what is the included side of angle R and angle S? All that means is which side is in between angle R and angle S. Well, there's angle R, there's angle S. What side is that? Of course, it makes sense that it's just those two vertices. I can just call that side RS. Side RS is in between angle R and angle S. We call that an included side. What is the included side of Q and S? Angle Q and S, well again, there's angle Q, there is angle S. What side is in between there? It's side QS. What is the included angle of side RS and SQ? So we can look at the picture. Here's RS and here's SQ. What is the angle that's included? We can see it's angle S. An easy way for us to do it also is just find the letter that's repeated. I have RS, I have an S in this one, I have an S in this one. That angle S has to be my included angle. Again, same thing, included angle of RQ and SR. RQ is right here, SR is right here. The included angle we see by the picture is angle R. We can also tell by, this, by the segments. I have an R in this one and I have an R in that one. That has to be my included angle. So we've talked about side, 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 and side, angle, side. Today we got to talk about angle, side, angle. And again, we've talked about how the angle, the, the, the order matters. If two angles and the included side of one triangle, so not just any side, the, the included side, the one between these two angles. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another, that is sufficient. That's enough for us to say the triangles are congruent. So it just asked us to list your name, the two congruent angles, and the included side. So I've got angle E congruent with angle D because they each have one arc. AC is congruent to DF because they each have one tick mark. And I have angle C is congruent to angle F. So again, by angle, side, angle, I can now say these two triangles are congruent. AAS, if two angles and the non-included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles and the non-included side of another, then the triangles are congruent. This is the one that a lot of you guys had a hard time doing. This is the one where I think I told you to have a 30 degree angle and a 40 degree angle, and you had to have a six inch side that was not included on that sandwich activity. This is where, th this was that triangle. So if I just list them up, angle G, it's congruent to angle L because they each have one arc. Angle J is congruent to angle M because they each have two arcs. And I have JH congruent to MK because it's got a tick mark. So by angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side, I have congruent triangles. The last one. Most of you were able to make this triangle pretty easy. Hypotenuse leg. Remember, if it's a hypotenuse, if it's got a hypotenuse, it's got to be a right triangle. The hypotenuse is always the side opposite the right angle. If the hypotenuse and the leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of another right triangle, again, that is sufficient for us to say our triangles are congruent. So AC congruent to, D, to DF because they each have two tick marks, and CB congruent to FE because they only have one. So these hypotenuses. I guess that's how you say the plural of that word. Hypotenuses match. These legs match. My triangles are congruent. This back side, I would like for you to think about it again on your own first. I think you'll get more out of it that way than just copying down what I'm going to show you. It gives me two triangles. It says, can I use AAS to prove that these two triangles are congruent? Explain. Again, think about it on your own. Each one of my triangles has a tick mark. Each one of my triangles has a 60 degree angle. Each one of my triangles has a 45 degree angle. So can I say AAS? Does it work? So again, I'm hoping that you see that it does not. Because triangle one, this first triangle, has the tick mark. This side, the side that has the tick mark, it follows the 60 degree angle. 60 degrees, tick mark. Whereas triangle two, has the tick mark on the side following the 45 degree angle. So the order, again, it, it, it matters. I, I, I should have gone side, 
angle, angle, you know, angle, angle, side. Or I could have had this one, you know, angle, angle, side. So it should have been these two sides had to match or these two sides had to match for me to be able to use AAS. And again, the second one, try it on your own. Think about what it would look like. Think about what your answer would be. Again, this was the smaller triangle that we made. Most of us were okay making this one too. I think you had to do a three inch side in a 30 and 40 degree angle. Most of us were able to do that. So again, that's what the picture would look like. Angle, side, angle. Again, the order matches. It has to match. So what I have to have two sets of congruent that's just, again, my writing got kind of bad here. Two sets of congruent corresponding angles and the included congruent side. The side must be included between the two congruent angles.